So today, this is the verse from this song, this beautiful song of Shri Naratam Das Thakur, which is about the glorification of Shri Mati Radhika and how we can be 108% sure that this is not a wrong thing to worship and glorify Shri Mati Radhika. That this is the way how to get bhakti in the first place. Radhika chara narenu bhushana koriyatanu anayase pabe giridari Radhika chara mashrai yekare se mahashai Tare moe jai boli hari. Anyone who decorates the body with Radhika's foot dust easily attains Giri Dari. I praise any great soul who takes shelter of Radhika's lotus feet. Naratam Mahashai, the big, big, big Mahatma, biggest Mahatma in our Gaudiya Vaishnava line, he says, I praise any great soul who takes shelter of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Radha's foot dust. In the next three verses from this, Srila Naratam Thakur Mahashai speaks of the worship of Vrindavaneshwari Sri Radharani. The Gaudiya Vaishnavas that surrender to Sriman Mahaprabhu's lotus feet have greater love for Sri Radha. Therefore, these verses are most beneficial to them, working on them like reviving nectar elixirs. It makes us alive to hear this glorification of Srimati Radhika and especially listening from one very realized and eternal service, maid service, maid servant of Srimati Radhika, Naratam Dastakur. Working on them is like reviving nectar elixirs. So what we are doing here now we are churning the nectar elixirs. <laughs> Srila Naratam Das Thakur first says, Shri Radhika Charana Renu Bhushana Koriyatanu Anayase Pabe Giridari By accepting Shri Radharani's foot dust as the ornaments of the body, Giridari, Shri Krishna will be easily attainable. Just for those who have a doubt that we are not neglecting Krishna when we are taking our full concentration and full service mood towards Sri Radhika, Krishna is very happy. He is most happy. He has arranged this for us. It's his arrangement. The only means, the only way to attain Sri Krishna is Prem, divine love. That is propounded by all the scriptures. In scriptures like Srimad Bhagavat, we can find a lot of examples of the power of the foot dust of the saints in bringing about the attainment of devotion or the attainment of God. The great sage Bharata told King Rahugana, this is also in Srimad Bhagavatam, O oh, King Rahugana, without being sprinkled by the foot dust of the saints, Panaces, performing of Vedic duties, 
donations of food, charitable building of houses, studying the Vedas, or worship of water, fire, or the sun will not help to attain the truth about God. So everything what we do, any good things that we like to do, like to help others do welfare, if it's not connected to a sadhu, to a saintly person, if it's not connected to a higher purpose, to divine love, it is not uh, helping us. That's very interesting. Because many people in this world are helpers and philo philanthropists. They like to do good. They like to help others because they have maybe, you know, more than others. They have more money or more knowledge. But the sprinkling of the foot dust of the saints is the essential thing that makes it into service, divine service. And the same is for penances, means austerity, like the yogis or like any kind of austerity that we try to do to purify ourselves. Any kinds of food distribution. So we know that we also have our good projects in Mungeraj Mandir. But because this is connected by the foot dust, of our Param Gurudev, of all our, you know, Acharyas, of Gurudev, this is uh, helpful to attain Bhakti. And not only Bhakti, we are aiming for Srimati Radhika's service. The mood of the Palyadasi, the Mandris. So another quote comes from Bhakti Sandhava. As long as one is not showered by the foot dust of the saints that are totally free from material identification, no one can become aware of the lotus feet of Sri Krishna. All personal faults and mischief will automatically go away by becoming fixed in these lotus feet. another confirmation. We need the mercy of someone who is already connected. Like Gurudev used to say, if you are connected, you can connect. A saint is great according to the amount of their prema. Therefore, we must understand that the greater the love of the saint is, the creator is the power of his foot dust in bestowing devotion. So, the foot dust is very, very important in our progress. Because in the feet is a storage of all the moods and all the feelings of that personality. So if we want to serve Srimati Radhika's lotus feet, we need the mercy of someone who is already serving this lotus feet, who has already a connection. Sri Radharani has the greatest love Therefore, there is no comparison in the power of her foot dust in bestowing devotion and thus causing the subjugation of Krishna. Srimati Radhika's lotus feet, even Krishna wants to massage them, he wants to paint them, he wants to hold them, and he is crying tears on, you know, when he is doing Charan Seva. He is also very eager for this Charan Seva.
And we know there's many stories, and I remember Gurdiv was when we were traveling in Europe, especially ours one story was prominent. How Narada Muni was sent by Krishna because Krishna had a headache and he said, Narada, find the dust of I need the dust of my devotees. That will be the only cure for my headache. Please go and you can travel very fast by sound vibration and ask the devotees if they will give some dust. So Narada Muni was traveling. He went to Brahma, Shiva, he went to all different, different devotees. And they were all shocked. They think, my God, no, I cannot do it. If I give the dust of my lotus feet to Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, I will go to hell. This will be very uh, bad for my... Uh, it will not be good. It is not... Uh, I think you are joking me, Narada Muni. Krishna wants my foot dust. No, 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 never. He is the Supreme. But we know the gopis. When he came, finally, you know, it's a journey of experiences. When he came to the gopis, immediately they said, Oh, you want our foot dust for Krishna has a headache? This is terrible. Immediately, take a, you know, as much as you like. We will rub it off and then if you need more, you come back later. <laughs> so this story is very famous because it's a sweet uh, picture how the gopis, they are not concerned about themselves. They say, even if I have to go for he to hell for this, but Krishna's headaches and his desire is, you know, first has to be resolved. I don't care what happens to me. If Krishna wants it, we will do it. So there was not this fear of my karma, of doing right or wrong. It's Krishna's desire, that's it. Because the gopis always want to make Krishna happy. And we know Srimati Radhika, she has the greatest love. So much so that Krishna is so much subjugated, means he is uh, becoming small in her presence. He becomes a servant. He wants to also serve like a dasi. And he is realizing that as Shaitanya Mahaprabhu. So that is the power of the foot dust. And Krishna is so much, he loves his devotee so much. And the best and highest and most top devotee of all is Srimati Radhika. So when we worship her foot dust, we are in a safe place. And especially when we worship her foot dust under the guidance of our, our Gurdi, who is already realized in being Srimati Radhika's maidservant. That's why this song is called Sri Radha Nishta, means the fixed, fixed faith. There's two kinds of faith. One faith is a little bit shaky and maybe yes, maybe not, and you know, some doubts. But the stage when the faith is unshakable, that's called nishta, and that is what we like to desire to develop in the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika and in the power of her lotus feet and the dust of her lotus feet, that it will help us. And we are receiving it through our Gurudev. Of course, we also meditate by ourselves, but we need a pipeline. We need some Jenna, to receive the dust because the dust has to, you know, fall down from her lotus feet to the lotus feet of my Gurudev and then there I can get the lotus feet dust. Also of Srimati Radhika through her dasi. I constantly remember the foot dust of Sri Radhika whose unlimited power instantly subdues even the Supreme Person, Sri Krishna, who himself cannot be easily seen, even by the greatest devotees, 
like Lord Brahma, Shiva, Sugadev Muni, Narada Muni and Bhishma. This is a quote from Radha Rasa Sudhanini, verse number 4. So, why did Brahma, Shiva and uh, Narada, all of them, why did they not want to give the food dust to Narada? Oh, Narada Muni was collecting, so why did they not want to give it? Because they were or are in God consciousness. They are not in Brajabhav, in Vrindavan, especially, you know, the mood of the Brajabhasis, the inhabitants who live in Vrindavan, is a fearless feeling towards Krishna. He's a cowherd boy, and he is a very sweetheart of everyone. Everyone loves him. Everyone always wants to see him happy, and they don't think about him as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They see him as their friend, and Mother Yashoda sees him as her Lala, my boy, my sweet boy. And the Gopas, the cowherd boys, see him as his Sakka, as their Sakka is their friend, and the Gopis see him as their sweethearts. His sweetheart, their sweetheart, yes, their beloved, their secret beloved, secretly. Srila Prabhupada Saraswati Pad has spoken of the Prema Rasa Siddhi, the perfection of loving mellows, of Sri Radha's foot dust as a wish yielding cow, because her love causes Sri Krishna's complete subjugation. Again, Prema Rasa Siddhi, the perfection of all loving mellows, is Srimati Radhika's foot dust. And here the question may be asked, how can the practitioners serve the foot dust of Sri Radha? And how must the body be decorated with it? This Braja Dham is Sri Radharani's eternal playground. With her girlfriends and with her heart's lover, Sri Govinda, Sri Radharani eternally plays in his Raj, in, the, in, his, in this Raj. Srila Prabhupada Saraswati Pad has written, The sweet place named Sri Vrindavan is beautified by Sri Radha's footprints. Therefore the dust of Braj is Radhika's foot dust. If it was not like that, then why would associates of the Lord like Uddhava Mahashai, who was the very embodiment of transcendental knowledge, have prayed for taking birth as even a blade of grass or a shrub in this Brindavan, so that he could serve the dust? So this is amazing here now. Now, Baba's making the statement that the foot dust of Srimati Radhika is Vrindavan. Whole of Vrindavan is Srimati Radhika's remnants, her foot dust, her feelings. This can only be understood if we can uh, connect the foot dust to the feelings, because they are always walking barefoot. And so all the land is permeated, is full of their feelings. All their moods, all their love is in them, in the, in the, in the ground of Vrindavan, and not only of Radha Mohan, but especially Srimati Radhika, because she has created Vrindavan. She is the personification of love. And Vrindavan is only made of love. That's why we are so eager also. We want to also connect to that divine love 
एंड साफ श्री माता राधिका दया राधे 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 किशोरी मैं आई राधे राधे मैं आई शवा प्लीज थैंक यू सो जस्ट इंस्पिरेशन कम इट्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुल या शेयरिंग्स एंड अनंत दास बाबा जी वर्क एंड यू से दैट सो वृंदावन वृंदावन दिस दामा लैंड इज मेड बाय श्रीमती राधिका लाइक अ मदरली लैंड आवर मदर इज राम एंड लाइक अ उत्तम महाशय आई वांट टू बिकम ग्रास बिफोर आई थिंक वी वी हैव बिकम ग्रास देन Uta Mahasaya always catching the lotus feet on his head. But actually, everything comes from land. We cannot live from land. Means everything, and especially become grass, it's more cross with this holy dharma, Radhika's lotus feet, or dust of lotus feet. It's more beautiful, Brinda by magic come by your feeling. We come low, then we can more catch her feeling. Mahababa, love, love. That's ah, that's why and Anura like ah uh, follow footsteps. Follow footsteps okay. means uh, this catching lotus, dust of lotus feet also. Something like become raw. Sorry, not good English, but just rather rather feeling calm. Thank you, Kishori Ji. Yes, when I was once on Parikrama many years ago, maybe ten, ten, fifteen years ago, then we were at that place in Udava, where Udava prayed to become the dust for the sh- the the grass. and i think oh my god this is so unperceivable that he prays to be the dust but i pray to be the dusty <laughs> but these are the different mood of the different bhaktas in their different feelings and it's all good we can learn we can respect and we can bow down to all of them into the land of rundavan in shrimad bhagavatam this statement of udava is found asamaho charanarena yusham aham shyam rundavane kemapi gulmalatau sadidam oh i desire something very precious all the shrubs means the little grass the vines and the herbs here in vrindas the shri vrindavan are most fortunate for they are constantly bearing the food dust the braja dust of the braja gopis who have given up their relatives and the path of virtue and chastity to worship mukunda a position which is coveted even by the vedas aho will i ever be so fortunate to take my birth as one of these shrubs or blades of grass in shri vrindavan with such paramount devotion the devotee the body of the devotee must be decorated with shri radhika's foot dust by living in braj and serving braja's dust here the highest devotion is desired to be said in shri radha rani's lotus feet so baba is making it clear that we cannot worship shri mati radhika in the mood of pride or in the wrong conception of bodily consciousness that's why we remember these quotes and we are hearing these quotes that there must be a feeling of very small service and small insignificance 
that has the highest desire to go into the service of Srimati Radhika. And then we can put the dust of Vrindavan on our bodies, on our heads, in that feeling of glorification of Vrindavan, gratitude and humility. That is paramount devotion. That is not some imitation. That's a very, very high feeling that comes only by a lot of mercy. We have already discussed that as a result of serving the lotus feet of the great souls, prema is attained. And through prema, Krishna is attained. Endless streams of Mahabhav, honey, flow from Sri Radha Rani's lotus feet. And wherever she places these lotus feet, there the specks of dust become saturated with the love juice known as Mahabhav. So now, Baba is opening the depth of the power of Srimati Radhika's lotus feet and her dust of the lotus feet. Endless streams. Endless streams. It's like an ongoing stream that is coming from her lotus feet. Of Mahabhav honey. It's a very thick, you know, honey, if you try to put honey from a jar, it's not thin like water, it is thick. So what comes from Shimade Radhika's lotus feet is a thick stream of divine love in madness to serve her beloved Mohan. And wherever she places these lotus feet, it will be some remnants. And the vibration goes in the land. And what goes into the land? The love juice, known as Mahabhav. So going to Vrindavan is very auspicious. But usually we don't have no realization that this land is full of love, Jews, full of Mahabha, because Swamini is walking there, is not has, she is walking. She is still present there. And when we go to Vrindavan in that feeling, oh, by the mercy of the saints, of the sadhus, and the devotees, and our Gurudev, these feelings can also come into my heart. And then there will be a big transformation. I can feel myself as a soul. I can overcome my bodily consciousness. And also I can feel myself as a soul who wants to serve Srimati Radhika. And my Gurudev is giving me the blessings that he also will help me in that. He is happy when I do, you know, have these feelings and these desires. Because the living entities are full of different, different desires. And always Gurudev wants to help, like Srimati Radhika always wants to help with all desires that any living entity might have. Sunitiji, Radhika. sorry. Could you speak loudly? Sugar the asking. Oh, I'm sorry. It was not so loud. Is now better? So, Radhe. So we come to Vrindavan. We have many, many desires. And all these desires become purified. When I take just a little speck, a little, you know, 
dust of the mercy of Vrindavan, through the mercy of Guru, Sadhu, Vaishnavas and Shastras, that will happen there. That's why we go there. We always, you know, when we come, when we live in the, in the, in the crazy wild west, then always there's so many things that cover my desire to be a spiritual dasi. And many other desires come up. Oh, I have to do this and that and this and that. And we collect a lot of garbage. <laughs> but when we come to Vrindavan, all of a sudden, by the mercy of the holy place, this is taken away. And my, my desires are being transformed by the power of that dust of Vrindavan, which is full of the love juice of Mahabhav. That faith, to have that faith and that feeling, it will become true. It's not a theory only. It is something that is and will be a reality for those who are ready for that, who want to give up all other identification and live only in the soul and in the Darcy feelings. And then Baba says, there is no doubt about it that Giri Dari Shri Mohan is attainable by serving these specks of dust, since they have the great power to deliver this. There is a Rasika secret about why Shri Krishna has been named Giri Dari and not anything else. On Shri Krishna's advice, Sri Nanda and the people of Braj gave up their long practice sacrifice to Rin Indra and started the sacrifice to Sri Govardhan. This made Indra blind with rage and caused him to shower Braj profusely with huge clouds as to destroy the whole place. Shri Krishna could have also used other means to destroy Indra's pride, but to preach Shri Giriraja's glories and to see Shri Radha and the other gopis who were otherwise hard to see without hindrances for a long time, he lifted Giriraj Govardhan on his left little finger for seven days and nights. He became so happy to see Radha Rani for seven long days and nights, that he became most satisfied with the great offender Indra. He offered him some mediocre prayers and began to talk casually with him. So Krishna was happy also that Indra was giving the chance, in a way, although it was not such a nice arrangement with all the rains and in the end, it's all a game in Vrindavan, it's a Leela. Brahma is more qualified than Indra. He is Sri Krishna's son, Vishnu's son, huh? and the creator of the world. But in Brahma Mohana Leela, he got the desire to kidnap Sri Krishna and his dear cowherd boyfriends and his calves. Nevertheless, in order to beg forgiveness for this offense, Brahma offered lengthy praises full of sweetness and prowess. But Krishna, Sri Krishna did not speak to Brahma at all. Krishna forgot about eating and sleeping, holding the large Giriraj for seven days and seven nights out of eagerness to see Sri Radharani. It is needless to say that if anyone devotedly decorates his body with the full dust of that Sri Radha, then he will easily attain that Giridari. Anayase Pabe Giridari. Here the word Pabe he will get means that along with the relish of Sri Radha Giridari sweetness, one also attains the fortune of their devotional service. For the fortune of relishing Giridari sweetness is the true attainment of him. 
so Baba is mentioning these two stories to see that even if like Indra or Brahma, they, they want to test if Krishna is really supreme personality of Godhead, or if he just is a cowherd boy. We can see why they test, because they only know Vishnu. They don't know Krishna in his sweet form as a cowherd boy. So they test him, and the result of Indra was, of Indra's, uh, you know, stupidity or not like to say that but arrangement of the the thunderbolts and the rain he said that that make me close to my radharani i am happy and he spoke with him easily but brahma he was stealing all the devotees all the cowherd boys and uh, calves that made krishna not very happy and he ignored brahma and he didn't want to speak to him so we see if the you know if there's some mercy that Krishna can be, again with his Srimad Radhika, he's very much easily forgiving. But taking the devotees from Krishna, oh, he doesn't like that. So Baba says, on the other hand, there is no other means to attain or to relish Shama's sweetness than worshipping Sri Radharani's foot dust. So, the real connection to Vrindavan, to the feelings and the the love juice of Mahabhav of Vrindavan comes by Swamini's mercy and by the mercy of her Dasis. Anything else is not available, even not to Brahma and to Indra, to the demigods, who also have very much responsibility in the you know cosmic order of events. Without worshipping the dust of Sri Radha's lotus feet, without taking shelter of Vrindavan, where her put footprints are lying, and without conversing with those whose hearts are filled with deep love for her, how can anyone enter into the Shyam Ocean? So again, Baba makes the point that even if you love Krishna so much and you want to come close to Krishna, you need the mercy of Shrimati Radhika. It's not possible without her grace because she is the queen of Rindavan. After this, Srila Thakur Mahashai says, anyone who takes shelter of Sri Radharani's feet is a Mahashai, which means a great soul or Mahatma, or someone of very fine intelligence. Anyone who offers his mind to Sri Krishna and who is Sri Krishna's devotee is a Mahatma or a Mahajan. But Sri Krishna himself has said, in Bhagavad Gita, O Partha, he who is only my devotee is not my devotee. But he who is the devotee of my devotee, he is my true devotee. That's why we call each other Das Anudas or Dasi Anudasi. We are aware that we have to come close to the devotees, to become devotees. We are just like a semblance. We are apprentices, you know, we, we go into the school of devotion. And then again, if the Lord's pleasure potency only slightly arises within the individual soul, then that soul attains the title of Bhakta. It's again by the pleasure potency, by Ladini Shakti, that Bhakti in any way will move in my heart, in anybody's heart. Because this is all the property of Swamini. And she is giving the ability to love 
and she is guiding us. to become more loving and to feel what is the divine love in all the different stages on you know our journey <laughs> if the lord's pleasure potency only slightly arises within the individual soul no that is uh, shraddha the beginning of everything is shraddha faith yes i like the devotees i like to be with them i like to hear i like to take prasad i like to get the smell of this mm beautiful incense that has been offered to radha maha and then the soul attains the title of bhakta and the presiding goddess of that pleasure potency is shri radha Therefore Shri Krishna is subjugated to the utmost by one who takes shelter of Shri Radha's lotus feet. Therefore a devotee who takes shelter of Shri Radha Rani's lotus feet is the true Mahashay. So I just check okay there's some minutes. Again It is mentioned by Baba I think two or three times that Krishna is jab subjugated means that he is bowing down to lotus feet of Shrimati Radhika He is holding her lotus feet like this and crying Why because her love is so deep and so amazing that he himself can only bow down to this love and that loving flow from her lotus feet is a stream is a thick a very thick stream it's never more or i mean less than that it's always increasing only and that thickness of her love juice known as mahabhav that is very attractive to krishna he is helplessly surrendered to her sweet loving moods so much so that he decided i have to taste that because i see that she has more ecstasy than myself <laughs> how is this possible How can she be more happy than me and I want to find out how she feels That's why he became Chaitanya And by the way glorifying Shrimati Radhika as Chaitanya and her love giving all that possibility to serve that love also in a very intimate and sweet way Oh by the way Gurudev did you did you uh, check your your yeah uh, my messages I found out the quote about Baba Ulasa Rati I checked and it is in Venu Geet in its uh, explained so there's no difference in all the explanations of the different schools of bhakti and shiman mahaprabhu he came to give this sweetest love to the lotus feet of shrimati radhika that even krishna as chaitanya mahaprabhu came to feel and came to taste and that is that bhava ulasarati it is that bhava that feeling that mellow in devotion where the mandris are not interested to enjoy krishna for themselves their highest pleasure is to serve swamini shri radhika and in that love they are completely satisfied and melted and they always want to serve swamini's desire so swamini has only one desire 
She wants to be with Mohan. So the Manjaris also have only that one desire. They want to always be and help Swamini to be with him. And they always, everything they do, they only do with that feeling. They put on her ornaments and they say, Now I put Mohan to your chest. Now Mohan is embracing you. They are doing everything, every service that they do to make her happy only. They have no self-interest other than that. And by that feeling, by that surrender, by that deepest touch of their hearts, they win Swamini's heart. And so much so that she trusts these maidservants with all her feelings, with all her savers. They are her closest friends. And they are distributing actually the dust of Srimati Radhika's lotus feet. Yes, it's true. Vrindavan is full of this dust of Srimati Radhika's lotus feet. But who can, who can open this vision to me? Because I am blind. I am blinded. I am deaf. I cannot hear. I cannot see. I'm only uh, living in my mind. So this is why we pray Om Magyana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Oh my Gurudev, you have opened my vision. You are opening my vision. I am blind, I am deaf, I am dumb. But by your mercy, the blind can see and the deaf can hear and the dumb can speak. So, Radhi Radhi, anybody would like to add on this and share some feelings? And But the glories of Srimati Radhika's foot dust. And the verses now are ongoing also. They continue. This is the whole song, and the uh, verse by verse is also in this Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And the next one is the second verse Jaya Jaya Radha Nam Vrindavana Jarada. And actually, I don't know if Udavaji is around, but I wanted to ask you, Udavaji, if you would like to help me out this next Tuesday because I will be traveling to Switzerland with all our dear brother Dasis from Japan, Ma Prima Bhakti, uh, Ma Himagiri, Ma Bhakti Himagiri will be here, and Dr. Chavan, and uh, Sanatana Mohini, and also uh, Bhakti Vina will be here. And we are traveling on next Tuesday to Maharani's house. So I want to ask if whatever Baya is um, would be available because I know you are in Vrindavan. Maybe he's not listening right now. So my dears, you are all very silent. I pray that this must be your satisfaction and your happiness. <laughs> because the glorification of Srimati Radhika is satisf satisfying all our desires, calming the mind, giving love and peace and happiness. Where's my Gaurasunna? 
We have some minutes. Rade, rade, go to Sonna Raji. Relaxing your beautiful voice, Suniti. We use the basement here. The basement is now so beautiful, cooling. We also have summer here. And no, it's too not working. You see? <laughs> so I'm preparing everything for our guests and test is it working? Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of guests now coming. My God. Wow. So technique is working, everything is fine. And um it's very relaxing. You you can listen to me, yeah? You hear yeah, me? Yeah, I we hear your voice very good, no? Yes. Uh -huh. So, yes, you spoke so much about this uh, Radharani and Vrindavan. And uh, because we also got this topic in Vrindavan, actually, I'm just coming from. And uh, so. Um, there was one verse I remember this uh, about the crowning of of crowning ceremony of of uh, Swamini, right? You remember this? Yeah, you said it's Vilap Kushmanjali eighty six. I think so. Yes, and um, we also have to do, in my feeling, to do this uh, ceremony. Every one of which uh, has to do this crowning ceremony of Radhika to accept her as the queen of Vrindavan. Um, because if we not do that, we always think uh, Krishna is the king. And uh, then these loving feelings will never come and this service mood will never come. We have to accept her as our queen. Make her the emperor. Isn't it? The empress. Empress. The no? Kaiserin on the heart. The, the yes. empress of our hearts. Sissi. Sissi. <laughs> In Austria, they make Sissi. And uh, so. Then, then we are all set. If we do like this, we become a part of Mahabhab. I see Mahabhab is also there. Jai Mahabhab. We were just talking about Mahabhab. <laughs> so, and I, what what I can feel in in Guru Dev's close association is really that he also is a part of this eternal Vrindavan and he makes us relish this uh, feelings, Radhika's feelings. And uh, now this time we also come very close to Mahaprabhu and we got a new view of our Chaitanya, who he really is. And uh, when we come close to him, to our Gurudev, we also become a part of his uh, feelings. And his feelings are actually Mahabhav. He become Mahabhav and who come close to Mahabhav also become Mahabhav. And then in this we can really enter Vrindavan as an inhabitant of Vrindavan. 
because of Vrindavan, she is, Radhika is the queen. All others are servants of Radhika. So, in that moment we become a, a servant of Radhika, we are uh, inhabitants uh, uh, eternal, uh, wie heißt das? Bewohner. Inhabitant. Inhabitant of Vrindavan. And our mind will no more work for the material interest. Because the higher taste will be so beautiful that we have no more interest in this what Gurudev sometimes said, stinky body. <laughs> Because there is a, a higher taste is coming to serve our Swamini. And this all is connected also the, to that, what you said, Sudhiti, uh, today. This is all the words of Ma Mahashai, of our great soul, Naratam Das Thakur. And our great soul, Srilananda Das Babaji Maharaj. Why, why he could give it? Mahaprabhu put his mood somewhere in the river. And he got it from Mahaprabhu even later. Not in the same time. He don't met him even. But the mood, his Mahabhav was there. And he, he, when he touched the water, this Mahabhav, entered his heart and so he got this realization like everything comes close to Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is in contact with Mahabhav like animals we remember this when he walked to the forest this all, all animals who came close to Chaitanya become Overwhelmed by loving feelings. Mahabhav. <laughs> Jai Ho!